The following episode is all about equipping the guild heroes. If you're just here for the combat or script, you can see the next story mission in episode score settling, which will be published the same day as this bonus episode. All Super Dungeon Tactics videos are published on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Thank you for choosing to watch Tranwin Super Dungeon Tactics. Welcome back to Tranwin's Super Dungeon Tactics Extreme Mode. I ran this dungeon, I'm not sure how many times, let's say 10 times. I became a lot more efficient at it after my earlier debut. When, when you see me run the bounty missions, that's the first time I run it. I don't know what to expect, I'm just playing along or by ear. I've uncovered tons of items that I haven't looked at, or I, 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 I see they're, they're still locked. So everything that is new from the last episode is now going to be uncovered here. Shoulder, who gets shoulder shove. So instead of, um, all right, so the dwarf, instead of hefty shove, he gets shoulder shove. And instead of intimidate, he gets disheartened, which is a bigger version of it. So all of these would just be bigger versions of their old abilities. So she'll get sh Shot of Courage and Triple Stout Shot. Immune to Fire, Blazing Hands, and Fire Bash, which is just like Fireball. Skullcracker would do 7 damage, but it won't be as effective because the reason why but I never used that is because her blade was always better. And I did find some level 3 weapons. And the level 3 seems like a huge jump, and it would have made my farming a lot faster to to equip them, but I wanted to, to share this uh, unveiling with you, rather than like, oh look, he's got more gear, I didn't know how he got it. I get, so she'll go from Enrage to Super Rage, which will give her a block, Strengthen 4, but Poison 2. Uh, so she'll take 2 damage. I want to check something though. These things don't always list the hit point change, so let me check something out. So she's at 16 now. And yeah, so what it, what she was using before, she gets a six hit point bonus. So I could use super rage three times and then end up with the exact same hit point. Although I do get one less armor, so that that is a thing. Super critical, one to five squares away. But I get when she I she ends up with the skull a lot, and that's really bad for her because she uses a bow or a dagger. Which means two attacks. So she would get six damage, I think, because of the poison three. So that's something that I need to consider. Is I really need to avoid getting her a skull. But I, I prefer to give her a skull instead of, say, giving Bobo, because he weakens all my allies' damage, and so does the healer. So I, I prefer to take damage so that I can dish out more. Alright, this looks decent. It's uh, better than Sweet Voice by four. And, or by, by Time Swarm. And this one will allow me to heal herself, but it doesn't have the wave heal, so that's something to keep in mind. That's, that's why I haven't been using it. I don't know if Candy is like a character belonging to the board game or what I'm, I'm not exactly sure what this is I think this is based off of a board game I don't exactly know what Candy's role is because she seems very set in her ways and she comes with her own name and her own lore entry so I, I feel like she's like a cameo character who I have no idea who she is or like a pet friend or pet character of one of the game developers I'm not sure so she gets spin slice shove which is gonna deal six damage to everybody in one wave so it's like spiny tap or spinal tap or whatever I don't actually use her. I don't, in fact, I don't think I've used her ever since it's her entry mission. Alright, so endure. Heal 6 health and block 1. That's actually really significant. And lay hand. After receiving hit, heal 3 health to all allies and heal 1 health. So that that's actually a, that's also another substantial change because before he would just heal everybody around him, but he'd still be taking the damage. Now he can heal himself a little bit. So that's actually that that's actually something I may really think about doing. 
Um, this improves his range and damage for Go Fish. I'd like to try out the Heavy Bola sometime. I really would. But I, since I already have the Bramble Knight Lons, um, I know that you can ha eventually have so little move you're not allowed to actually move. So this, this, okay, this has a slow of one, whereas his current one has a slow of three, so he will not be able to move every time he uses it. Now I know that one of these is a slightly better one. The reason I don't use that is because I want the extra armor point. That's, that's all. I, so I'd rather lose a speed and the temporary block that I get just for that turn in order to have permanent armor. armor. But this one, this is this is worth it by this point. Actually, in fact, I'm going to slap it on him. Last one, the hex cast mage. I don't really know what her role is going to be because I don't find slowing the enemy all that useful right now. But maybe it will be pretty good. Uh, slow four for two rounds only, and all enemies in cone of four, pushing them four squares away. So it'll push them back, and then like, well, I can just shoot them with arrows while they push their way towards me or something. I don't know. Might be worth trying. I certainly haven't gotten any use out of Deathly Touch yet. Alright, let's now check out my weapons. Alright, so I, I haven't gotten all the treasures, uh, but I've gotten enough and it's time to record, so I've run out of time to, to farm. It's it's now 11.30 and my family's asleep, giving me this chance to record. I have to take it when I can. So, uh, one thing I don't, I, I would prefer to reorganize this if I could. Right now, it always goes the best level weapon first, and then the next level. So like right now is the best level one, then the middle level one, and the lowest level one. Then the best level two, low, you know. I think that should be swapped. Where it's the worst, middle, best, worst, middle, best. Because that's actually how it goes in power rating. Like this, level one, golden X, is not as good as the weakest level two X. So I, I feel like that needs to be reversed, so that the best is or the best is always right or left or whichever, as long as it's consistent, rather than strong, middle, weak, strong, middle, weak, strong, middle. I mean that that's it's just supposed to be strong, 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 middle, 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 weak, 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 or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that make, makes a difference to you. Uh, maybe by the time you see this, it will have been patched because I'm sure I'm not the only one who has noticed that. All right. So, so th these will all be the level 3 weapons, and I don't actually need to look at them, because I know I'm just going to pick the best one. Yeah, I was, I was kind of curious why the blue thing had switched places, but whatever. He can also use a crossbow. That might actually be kind of interesting. But he has, heavy, he has the opportunity to use heavy armor, so he might as well get in front. Okay, next character. I really like these level 3 stabs, by the way. So we'll give you... Wait. Inflict fire. There we go. And you will have... I don't want tile fire. It always seems to hurt me more than the enemy, because I have to actually walk through where I defeated the enemy. Who are all my greatsword users? It's just you and Candy, and maybe the Bramble Knight. So you'll know, take a look, and it's her demolish at the bottom is the one hit target, and that does eight damage, whereas the other special Face, the face punch improvement was like 7 damage, but the face punch does let you move away too, so that, that is a thing. If you need to get her to safety or something, or passing through, it would be, actually be kind of a good tactic, because I, I was thinking about trying to do something like that in the graveyard, just to use armor cut and then race closer to the ward, or not ward, to the, um, the spawning tower. 
Now we get equipped to go under equipped your staff. Yeah, sure, let's just give you this. Or that one. Sorry, yeah, because I'm thinking like, oh, that's the best one. No, it's not. This is the best one, this is the middle one. So it's kind of a... yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it changes the graphics for the weapon. Now this will be a nice upgrade. This is doubling his damage right there, because before he was doing two. Now it's four. Range is the same. All right, now for armor. All right, so let's, uh, let me think here. I wish I could sort the characters or something by by style. I guess I can kind of see them here. So these are the four characters that use light armor. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, you will probably need the best light armor because you get in the front. Pulsing, what that does, although there's there's no lore entry for it. Pulsing, that gives that makes her knock away opponents at the beginning or end of the turn like a trap the opposite of attraction this one gives a better default speed but i don't like the die modification for it I, i'm pretty much never going to pick a movement tile Whereas this one, I could pick up a double shield or a blue icon. Let's see, which of these characters... Okay, do you use blue? No, not really. How about you? you use blue? No. Do you use blue? No. no. None of those characters use blue, so it doesn't really matter that much. Only for applying it for, like, to, to the Bramble Knight. Let's go ahead and give you that for now. So the next closest character is probably going to be, let's say... Braza and Sorella. We'll give you that one now. I'll probably need to change these soon. We'll give you that one because you're, you're pretty much a mainstay of my group at the moment. Blow far back is actually pretty cool too. It, it just like, knocks out enemies. Let's see here. What else? Um, oh yeah, so I was gonna go to Braza. It doesn't have pulsing for her, but that's okay. Maybe I want pulse. No. Pulsing is a little late. The enemy has already moved, and so I'll just push him back like two squares, and I'll just walk back up to you. So that's okay. And in fact, I find it more hurtful to use pulsing. So I, I, I think I'm happy with this choice. It's just. I was just thinking, like, oh, I should get it because there's nothing on this. No, no. Pulsing has hurt me because then I'm not able to smash people up with this staff. Like, they'll be scattered. They're essentially, it's essentially scatters them, which is the opposite of what I want. Because it deliberately equip characters with the meat suits and stuff like that so they can be lured together. Alright. Last one is Rigma. Give her an outfit. So, her choice is... Any, oh! You know what? These, that, these are the worst three? These are the best three? Uh, I was going by these base stats up here. This might actually help you, because you have a minimum range. Yeah, it may actually help. Let me double check something here. Does it? Yeah, it's exactly as. Yeah, because these gemstones, it doesn't actually show you that kind of stat, stat change. 
Alright. So, Sorella's the only one without pulsing. She'll just have to deal. Alright, next up is medium armor characters. So, well, who's, who's the... These are all medium armor. I don't really use Candy, so I'll go with her last, but Kerum, although I haven't used her lately, she would probably need the best medium armor. And then we're gonna say... Glimmin. So my choice is between getting aggro or less aggro. We'll say less aggro for you. And for you, we'll give you more aggro. I feel like aggro is a weird term. Then buff. I think I feel like buff is a weird term. I like I say like I'm gonna buff you. I always picture people like getting out like a a, a buffing pad and just like shining you up or something. <laughs> so. I find aggro and buff to be odd terms. It's probably because I've never done stuff like World of Warcraft and it hasn't become um, part of my vocabulary. Alright, now for the heavy armor. You will take the best heavy armor. So this is, this is how I'm kind of sorting it. I can see these faces and it'll, and it'll look like who needs it the most. That's kind of how I'm organizing them. And that, it has worked out so far because that's a lot of armor and a lot of people to, or, to equip. So this is supposedly the best one. Magatize. Mag magatize that uh, lure enemies in, I think. Uh, every time they hit you or do something, uh, your character will lure them in. And aggro 3. It'll make you slow. But alright. <clears throat> Maybe this one better. No, I like the high aggro. Let's see, aggro 2. This is really good for his hammer, so I'll leave that. I think. So I've noticed that sometimes I, the attraction doesn't work. I feel like if an enemy is right next to you, it doesn't pull in any other enemies. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't, I haven't studied it that carefully in the middle of battle. So I'm, it may, it may in fact make his meat suit work or worse. I mean, but for the time being, I'm going to leave this equipped because I like the idea of pulling in as many enemies as possible so that he can. Smash them up with his hammer. Last is Bobo. I'll give you imposing. Alright, um... Let's go back through and equip these people. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit harder. It's gonna be a lot harder. Uh, it would be nice if I could just like see like the colors or something. Like you, you toggle this and then it shows you what color colors they can wear. Alright. Uh, let's start with the knight. He has the best one already, okay. And then let's go to Sorella. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Oh, it doesn't even have wave heal. I must have been looking at something else. So this gives wave heal. Um, and you can also have a wave heal now. So now they, these two can actually heal each other. Um, she has substantially more hit points than she did before. I'm not sure if I should give her this one just so that she can have immunity fire. Like, I don't know how good that is. The game must give it to me for a reason, that's immunity to fire effects. So I'm assuming if there's like a fire dragon breathing fire on me, it would not actually change anything. Um, Braza is still extremely fragile though. Whereas if I equip one of these, she have plus seven hit points. Uh, 
All right, well, let's go with this for now, and maybe I'll give her some hit points on the item later. Anybody else want to use a red? Well, I guess I could go with this, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything, because I think I'm going to change him from red to a blue. Oh, well, I don't have enough blues, apparently. I don't have a leftover blue that's worthwhile for him. Wait, right, what is she using? Definitely to... Oh, I don't even... Okay, so yeah, now he can heal himself. Um, I'm not sure how viable this will be, but it does add an extra armor point. That adds a lot of hit points to him. Check this out. He goes from 9 to 22. It doesn't say that here, though. So that, that's, that's the... Uh, it may be a side effect of leveling up or something, I don't quite know, but... It also does not have a skull on it, which is cool. Alright, what else? Uh, so you switch from a red to a blue, so it doesn't, even looking at their faces doesn't mean anything. So I'm just going by order of priority of my best characters, or the characters I like to play the most. It's a flat, flat bonus, and then it adds two on top of it, I bet. I think that's what it means. So this adds nine hit points, and then this will add eleven. I think that's what it means. Let's see here. This goes up to eight. This should go up to seven then? Yeah, okay. So this is in comparison to the other gemstones of its nature. Maybe I'll give. Because she has to get closer. There we go. I'm a little worried about Brasa being so uh, fragile, though. So. That might that might be a big problem for her. Well, the main reason I don't play him a lot is because his range in the descriptions. I actually like the old descriptions because I played Magic the Gathering. Oh yeah, I know, I'm cool. I played Magic the Gathering back in the day and uh, before all the expansions. After they started releasing expansions, I, I just couldn't keep track of it anymore. I just didn't bother. Um, but anyways, and and I, I, I'm familiar with coding, programming. So I looked at it and I like I like those explanations. Anyways, deal 5 damage, 1 to 5 squares away. Was it always that way? I thought his range was much less. Yeah, but his range is much less in the order of weapons. What about the bows? Are the bows range any better than it used to be? 3 to 4, 3 to 6. Okay, so the range has improved a little bit. Yeah, his range was so pathetic, 1 to 3, that it just wasn't worthwhile, but now it's actually getting somewhere, 1 to 5. Okay. Uh, 
Have I cooked for Carol? Yeah, I did. The man is waiting. We'll give you a speed one. Wait, did you already have one equipped? You had this one equipped. Bobo, what do you need? Maybe I can swap out Karum? No. I can give her something else. But I like having burst strength, and she's a general, regular part of my army, so Bobo is just gonna have to deal. I would rather him have a yellow ability, but I want him to have all these extra hit points. Besides, I'll get a little bit of movement from this. He's a lot faster than he used to be now. Alright, you don't have anything yet. Alright, let's put something on you so you have hit points. You go from 10 to 17. I like, I'm missing the entire 2 category here. I wonder, like, would I get these level 2 items later on? For example, what I mean by that is, if I, let's say I fight an hidden dungeon, the last dungeon in the game, and there I have gaps in my equipment that are, that are low level, would I even ever find those? I don't know. I only have the single level 2 icon for all these things, I think. And then go straight to 3. Alright, so all of these accessories are now equipped. I mean, um, what is this? What's, what categories is called? Gem, I guess. Now it's time for the accessories. Uh, let's start with Lons. The Bramble Knight. Soda Pop. One heart, one move. Okay. Same thing, except I get power on his die. I mean, that's cool and all, but I'd rather roll a blue on his die. So I don't want to add more sides to it, because here's, here's what it rolls now. If I add this, you notice that it becomes much larger, and I have less of a chance of landing these. This is a nice item except for the two skulls, but I think that's why. And it's a, it's a good touch because it's a possessed cloak. You know, it kind of gives you an ominous feeling and you get these skulls that come up. So this is supposed to be for the Rift thing. She'd lose her only armor point, but she'd get to move for, further. I don't really know what she'd do with 9 speed though, except get surrounded and killed. Now that looks good. An extra two armor. I don't like the skull, though. So. Wonder if any of the gemstones will ever allow me to use the skull as a positive. Yeah, you're magnetized. That's not bad. I only lose two hit points, so basically if you get hit on two different turns, it already makes up for itself. It's aside from the fact that you don't add any benefits. What I mean is, like getting, say, uh, like if I do this, I get a benefit. So I'm, basically the opportunity cost is that I'm losing out on an accessory that will do more than change those kind of stats. Uh, I don't know if that made any sense. Don't know what I want to give you. Maybe I should gift you this, support crowns. I might be overdoing it, but now you can move by, with two units, in fact. <laughs> you can move two units. Alright, next up, uh, Sorella. She loses one aggro a turn, and she gets two shields out of that. That's actually, I, I really like that. Let's see if there's anything else that I have like that. This seems like it would really screw you over. Uh, the best use I can possibly think for something like this is um, 
to have a faster character drag your slow characters around, but it seems like it would really mess up your positioning. I suppose it could help for um, things like wave heal. Yeah, girl minus one. I, mean, I just skim these. I find it better. I don't think I'm gonna find anything like that. All right, I'll go back to this. Uh, Raza. I'm gonna add skulls to my die. So the choice is: do I want a shield or do I want aggro minus? Well, she no longer has aggro minus on her armor, so I guess I will give her the friendly butterfly. Okay, who's next? Rig Rigma, yeah. Too bad I don't think that affects stack. Like, if I put this on, combined with pulsing, I think that's two different events. So they'd be pushed away by one and ignored by the second ability. It'd be nice if they stacked and I could just send people flying. And if making them fly would do damage or kill them outright. You have 14 hit points. That's not a very large amount. This is not seriously not adding hit points, I guess not. Two hit points here. Twenty-two. Okay. Now you have an appreciable sixteen. Maybe I want the superpower crown. I take the superpower crown, I guess. Glimmin. Alright, that should do for equipment. Um, I've went ahead and polished up people's accessories and try to look what uh, try to look what would work with their current equipment layout. I figured that'd be the least interesting part of uh, the equipment. Plus, it, there was a lot more deliberation going on there, so hopefully I've edited that out. Alright. Item bar. There's some new things I have now. Bigger potions, which I actually... I'll go ahead and take that. Blue buttons and red buttons. I wonder if it just changes the die he has equipped. So like if I put on a skull or something. Uh, some different kinds of foods. Like the healthy sandwich. The ham shank. The meaty sandwich. The sandwich. The super sandwich. And some tomatoes. Really like these models of hate though, they help a lot. Let me resave it. I'm pretty sure I saved just not too long ago. 